Come and click on Scene on TV. He was one of soap opera's biggest stars until a family tragedy stripped him of his career and shattered his life. I recently took a trip to Lake Arrowhead where actor and now artist Tom Beards shared with me what helped heal his soul. It was 1986. He was on top of the soap opera world. Um, I don't understand. Every major soap magazine and thousands of fans wanted a piece of him. But after three years, at the peak of his career as Philip Chancellor on The Young and the Restless, a murder in his hometown of Kenosha, Wisconsin, shatters his world. Tom beards his dream of making it big in Hollywood crushed. I've dealt with some horrible stuff. Beard's mother, Phyllis Beards, murdered in a pool of blood on her kitchen floor, bludgeoned with a baseball bat by her youngest son, Troy Beards, a paranoid schizophrenic. None of us knew. He was never diagnosed until he was in prison, years later. This was no soap. It was now real. I'm very well aware I've got a brother who's locked up in prison, you know, for killing mom. I was shocked that it happened. I was shocked. But I guess it escalated, and I learned later how much he had threatened her and how much help she had tried to get. It was after he killed her, and when I went back to help him, that I realized, you know, this is my little brother, and I can be a big brother, and we can both benefit from that. And we correspond. I visit him. We help each other. I'm proud of him because he actually got to a point of remorse. Decades later, Hollywood lights replaced with Lake Arrowhead trees. Beards retreats to what he calls his treehouse and invites me into his home and into his conscience. Can you describe how you're feeling now? Sure. I mean, I was angry at my brother for killing. Uh, and I was mad at mom for dying, but there's just gotta be a bigger picture. And that bigger picture comes in the form of canvas. Beards has spent the past eight years painting and reflecting. He says art has been his saving grace. I do project after project and it makes me feel so good. And thus I am connected to the now, I'm not horrified at the past or too anxious about the future. So that's what puts me in a good place. So this, afterwards, I looked at it and thought, what is this? This must be my mom who had four kids, so this is the five of us. And I was feeling like she was still holding me. Through his artwork and spending 20 years writing his book, Forgiving Troy, the book debuted three years ago. It's a healing memoir of Beard's debilitating journey where he shares shame, guilt, and loneliness from the murder of his mother and how to forgive in the end. You know, I wanted to show how bad things could go and how good things could go from that. Beard says he is better off now. A devastating tragedy turned life lesson that has taught Beards to live, give, and grow. I think people generally should take accountability for their lives. You know, that, that's, that's a big way that I like to operate. And Troy wasn't. He kept blaming it on other things. My intention has been to help. If I can do that, if I can help people living as self-centered as I do, I love that. Now, Tom says his brother is doing better now that he's been diagnosed and is getting treatment. He's raised thousands of dollars for charity with his paintings and still has a recurring role on The Young and the Restless. For more on his book or to purchase a painting, just go to cbsla.com and click on Seen on TV. For some proud parents, there is nothing better than talking about their children.